how's going guys so here we are afk journey is about to launch on march 27th and so they sponsored me for another video again and you know even though i feel like this is the kind of game that does require a just a tiny bit of learning curve and then you'll master most of it i think it's not that difficult of a game to understand except for like the actual strategy part that is like another topic and the, like the game system itself is relatively speaking simple i actually still have a few tips that i would like to give out for you guys to be able to jump into this game easier so here we go my first tip for everyone that is going to play this game and it's in the settings menu now there's this one really important thing that you must turn on when you ever you play this game i highly recommend everyone to bring this on turn this on it's auto route it says beta and initially it's actually turned off for at least my this pc version that i'm playing on um by the way did i mention like it's you can just play the pc version which is so much more convenient than just like having to use it like, like an emulator or something when you want to just play on pc also you've got this portrait mode which is also in the settings menu uh landscape mode i mean portrait mode is the straight one but you want to come into the settings menu tweak your settings tweak your volume which i definitely would like to do that and you can choose your um how you like to control this thing your battles change your settings first highly recommended especially like if you want to turn on some like settings if you want to turn your frame rates up and down because i'm on a pc version so you know 60 fps why not and if you want to play the pc version like me just go on their official website obviously it's on ios it's on android whichever one you pick it's all the same thing it's the same game and you should be able to connect your accounts through them right that's all the game does that nowadays for some reason so first tip go into your settings tweak it turn that auto route thing on very important i would say that is the most important tip that i'm gonna give today because everything else i think i'm pretty sure everyone can figure out for themselves but if you didn't know about that you probably would never touch that now the second tip that i would want to give is you want to come in and it's the gotcha system now you see this white envelope thing that i have one only this is your resource to recruit in your standard banner and you're gonna get a lot of these, right? You're gonna get a lot of this and you can only use it in this banner. And you should only use that in this banner. The gems that you get from clearing stages, like, or if you, if you wail, whatever, use it in your event banners because you can't use, you can't use that. See, it's a, it's a great up invite letter, not your standard letter. It's different things. Save your gems for this. Now there's this like third banner here that uses this like epic invite letter, basically lets you choose your own, they call it S level, but it's just the highest rarity that you can pull. Like let's just, let's just call them five stars. S level is just a bit too complicated for me, for my small brain. So five stars, five stars, you can just self select which one you want. And you basically get these from clearing like main stories and then a few ways, or you can just buy them here. You get this like ticket thingy. What is this? Dolly ticket, yes. You get this dolly ticket whenever you pull and then you can just buy these here. And I think this refreshes every month. So you definitely want to come in here and buy these. You can choose whichever one you want. For me, waifus only, obviously. I wouldn't recommend it to you, but that's just me. And then there's this like final thing that takes 400 pulls. I don't know how to unlock it yet because I don't have 400 pulls and I don't know what's in it because I've only been playing this for like eight or nine days and that's basically how long I had. So, you know, this is a great side game that I just play on the side when I'm working. Uh, oh, right, tips. My third tip for you guys is when you first jump into this game, right? There's a lot of things. There's like, oh, there's exploration, there's a world. Oh my God, it's so interesting. Ignore all of that, ignore all of that. You, you might want to look around the art. You might look, oh, look at this beautiful place. I want to explore. Ignore all of that. You hit this thing on the top right. And remember how I told you to turn on the um, auto route thing? This will bring you straight to where your main story wants to go to. And you keep going. 
Why was I stuck? Did I turn off auto route? I did. See? That's why you have to turn it on. Auto route. Yes. So much better. So you want to keep going through its main story until you hit one of these blocked passages, right? And then you're forced to take one of these fights. Usually there's like this um um thing that you have to accomplish like you have to reach a certain level you have uh, a certain level average level on your account it's called resonance level you uh, you have to clear a certain level in this afk stages that you just have to push through by the way there's like this um auto combat feature now so you will just put down your op characters and then you know put down your formation you can hit auto battle and then it will just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing until you eventually lose and then you're stuck and then you can't push through this that is when you stop pushing for the main story and that is when you can be like oh i'm gonna go into the maps and you see all these stuff here you see all these monster signs you see all these chests like all in, in all these areas in all these areas yeah that that's when you actually start working on them and that's where you actually get to explore do not waste your time on exploration early on because one very important thing about this game is it's not just afk and then pushing main story and then exploration there's a lot of modes here right um there's your normal afk thing this is like your boss challenge this is your pvp obviously um the more you spend the stronger you are do i need to phrase it even more and then this is your um this is actually a bit more interesting. This is also PvP, but this is actually a more knowledge-based PvP because everyone gets the same level of characters on a dual thing mode. Um, and it's actually it's really up to how you change your team, how you for do your formation that actually matters. So it's completely like fair fight. So if you're good at the game, you win this. And then there's like a roguelike mode and then the legend trials and i think that's that's very simplistic and then there's this other new stuff that i have yet to unlock because it's available in seven days which is not for me now so there's a lot of mode and you want to unlock them asap because you get a lot of resources so push through the stories now the fourth tip is you actually get a lot of characters and you want to try them out do not be like me and go all waifu the matter of the fact is you will get so many characters from just login events. You see all these characters that are going to give out. And then there's like these 14, seven day, 14, 21, 28, 35 days. You'll get a lot of five star. You get it. You get it. What I mean, you get a lot of characters and change your formation. Like once in a while, look at like, here's, here's something I wouldn't usually say, but you should just Go look up some tier list, copy people's formation. They're actually pretty good sometimes. No, no, don't do what I do, do as I say. Okay? Don't don't be like me and be like, oh, waifu, and uh, ig ignore this guy. I just don't have someone else better to put on there. Don't do me. Do what I say, because that's usually the best way. And you're going to push way further if you, if you do it that way. Because... Even though there's like this combat power thing, um, you can see each character has their own combat power, right? That thing doesn't really work. I've been I've beaten stages that has like way higher combat level than mine current one. I just made it through with just tweaking my formations. So you want to strategize. This is a strategy game. Don't brain, don't brute force like me, okay? Now, next very important tip is. There's an equipment system here, right? And all of these equipment will buff all the characters of the same class. So this is my support equipment. And like, let's say I have this one max, right? And the reason I max it is it's for healing. And obviously when I'm using a support, I expect them to heal, right? But let's say my weapon, I did, I did not forge this one. I did not forge this one. They just gave it to me when I was playing, okay? But let's say if I if I if I have were to forge it, what's the point of me forging a weapon? Am I asking for damage from a support? Obviously not. Like this one. Crit. I'm not gonna waste my resources on that. So when 
there's very limited amount of resource. And as you can see, there's six classes. So there's probably going to be a class that you won't be using. So ignore that class as well. But you want to choose to spend your resources. As you can see, this one takes like 40 of these ingots and I have 208. Very limited amount. So you want to make sure you spend them on where what actually matters instead of just, oh, there's a forge button. Click, forge, yay. You don't do that. Okay, we don't do that. You make sure you check out all the stats because it is different like this one um, on the support one it actually gives healing but this one actually gives fertility right you want to put it on things that actually matters for your like team benefit instead of just forge 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 and then brain dead and that's not where you can all uh that's not the only place where you can get your equipment if you go into the, well, there's usually a map, uh, there's usually a sign here, but because I've already done my daily today, but you can come to this forge in the main town. And then this guy will actually update uh, the shop once in a while, once you level up or something. So you can come in here. And as you can see, I bought these two because these were going to improve my teams quite a bit. There's usually an up. Uh, there's a upper pointing arrow here. It refreshes in three days. There's usually an upper pointing arrow here telling you, oh, this is a buff towards your current gear. And there's no such thing as lower level gear is better. It's always higher level, better. Very simple. And ignore all the Chinese here because I think they have a small problem with this current like beta testing version that I'm playing. Either ways. So make sure you spend your resources, bef like think before you spend your resources. That's basically all the tips that i have to give out no wait last thing join a guild it, there's a lot of resources to obtain when you join a guild and i think there's also some daily quests that you can obtain no this is battle pass there's some daily quests that has to do with guild quests so yeah you should do these there's also daily quest this is your growth quest, growth pass quest. Just, just do whatever this says and then you can get the reward. Very simple. Same thing here. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Again, this is a sponsored video. Thank you very much to AFK Journey. This game will be launching on the 27th of March. You can download on iPhone, Android phones, PC, and, you know, give it a try because I find it pretty fun as a side game. Just, you know, come in, turn your brain off, click, 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 click. And then, you know, it's a chill game. Why not? And that's it from me for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.